All right, so here we're going to find the volume of a cube if each side is 2.5 inches long. And it is the same concept as, um, as we looked at before, where like we looked at, say, when you had um, a cube that was three inches on each side that became 27 cubic inches. That was kind of like our, our Rubik's cube, right? But if we're given something like 2.5 inches, you know, instead of having a beautiful Rubik's cube where we can count each one, we have parts of a cubic inch to deal with. And so it's not going to be as, as cool to look at, but we can still use the formula where the volume is just the length times the width times the height. And instead of going three times three times three, we're just going to go um, volume is length times width times height or, you know, 2.5 inches times 2.5 inches times 2.5 inches and calculate that, right? Uh, let's see, 2.5 times 2.5, uh, 5 times 5, 25, carry 2, 5 twos is 10 and 2 is 12, put down a 0, 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1, um, 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 is 5, and then add uh, 5, 2, 6, and then we've got two decimal places in the question. So one, two in the answer, so 6.25. And that's just multiplying two of them. So you've got to multiply by 2.5 again. Uh oh, five times five, 25, carry two. Five times two is 10, two is 12, carry one. Five times six is 30, and one is 31. Put down placeholder zero. Two times five is 10, carry one, two times two is four and one is five, two times six is 12, and then add. And so five, two, six, five, one, and there are this time one, two, three decimal places in the question. So there should be one, two, three in the answer. So 15.625, right? So that should be 15.625 cubic inches. Uh, all right, yeah, so so that is actually correct, funny enough. So basically what we have again is a cube that is 2.5 inches wide, 2.5 inches long, and 2.5 inches high. And um, and so that's our formula, length times width times height. So we multiply it, we get 15.625 cubic inches. So th this is cubic inches, and that is the answer.